Hello, my best sound friends and ladies. Mark the Punk Gamer, aka Mark the Punk here. In this video, I'm doing something different. Um, I want to show you guys my video game collection I have now. Show you guys and all that good stuff. And we're going to have some fun. I'll have a little bit of comment on each game I have. And I'll just um, put them together or something like that. Okay, so let's get this started. I'm excited to do this. So that's my collection here. Let's start off with um, Super Nintendo and NES games. So let's start off with this one. I don't know if you guys um, see C Cross. Uh, this game right here, um, this was a rage inducing game back when I was little. Oh man. I, this is a fun game, but this is where my rage started back then. Basically, it's a side-scrolling shooter here, so I like it. It's pretty damn cheap, and it's in really good condition. So, Rage-inducing game. I still like this game. This is a game I grew up with. So there you go. Seacross. This is where my rage started. Alright, so I'll show you guys the next game here. I know everybody doesn't like LGN, but um, here's the Punisher on NES, so here it is. This is why I've been telling you about CJ about this, so if he ever does a Retro Monday about this, so. I know everybody hates LGN, but I love the Punisher, so that's an, actually an uncommon game for the card itself, so it's just a mediocre um, shooter too. So, yeah, side scrolling shooter, so mediocre. I still like the game, so I beat this game actually twice. And it's, this game is still hard, so uncommon game. So, there you go. A lot of people said LJ is the worst. Here's another thing um, CJ Hawkins should um, put on Retro Monday as well. I comment on his live stream. Here's Shadowgate, actually. This is the game I was talking about next to the Punisher, so here it is. I like this point-and-click um, type game, so it is, however, has a little bit of RPG element, I'm pretty sure, so the original Shadowgate on NES, yes, and it does have a battery save into it. It's in okay condition, so I like the cover of this game, so. Really fun NES point and click RPG game. I recommend it if you're into that kind of stuff. So, shout out for NES. So, this game's cool. I like it. I gotta get back to playing it, to be honest. Ah, here's another game that I raged at as a kid, too. And it's made by Konami. Here's Mission Impossible on NES. So, that's another game I raged at. This game is pretty hard. I do like this game because the music is kick-ass. I love the Stage 3's music. It's called, uh, what's that stage, what's that stage called? Um, Cyrink Temple, I believe. That's the music I do like from this game. But hard as hell, I cannot get past the Stage 3 boss. So you're a piece of shit in this game. Ugh, still rage-inducing. It still makes me rage induce still more. So, Mission Impossible on NES. So, Konami did make this game. Here's an underrated Capcom gem that I just give, gave up on playing altogether. This one's called Codename Viper. Such an underrated gem of a game that Capcom made. Um, yeah, I'm not even a fan of this game, but, uh, fuck, I don't know. I hate this game, so, I don't know if I'll ever come back to this piece of shit, so, I don't know why I own it, because, I guess I'll just add it to my collection, I don't know. This is an underrated piece of shit that I, I know, so. There's a couple good songs here and there in this, in this game, but, uh, I do not want to come back to this ever. Whenever I feel like coming back to this game, Codename Viper. 
no, need I say more? Here's a decent Capcom game, actually. And it's originally from the arcade. How about Commando? So here you go. This is Commando. I know everybody heard about this game. Although it's not a good port, it is a fun game though, so. It's a me it's a average NES Capcom game, so. You're basically this guy just shooting up enemy soldiers in this game. That's basically it. So yeah, it's a shooter. Classic, so. Commando, so there you go. Really good. I'm sorry, average for this Capcom game, so. But fun nonetheless. Now, let me put these away. Now, uh, sorry. I'm going to show you guys my Super Nintendo game collection. There's only six of them, so. Couple of, a couple of them are kind of um, uncommon games I do own. I'm going to start off with this one. I don't know why I've owned this one. So this is uh, Williams Arcade's Greatest Hits. So I have the Midway Arcade Treasures on the PS2. So it's pretty okay. It's a novelty game. So I love the arcades though. I like a couple of their arcade games. I remember Joust on NES. I remember playing that version. But... Yeah, it's a novelty game. It's very cheap you can get it. So... That's my um, arcade collections from William. Super Nintendo. Alright, next one. Here's something that CJ Hawkins might be interested in. Um, what is it? Ah. NFL Core Back 96. So... I know it's made by Acclaim and all that. Same people that made the Spawn game. But that's going to be coming up in my list next. So, on my next game. So yeah, NFL Quarterback 96. Um, pretty decent um, football game. I still like it. So. Uh, so. Decent football game. I, to, say about the, to say about it on Super Nintendo. But yeah. It's okay, so. NFL Quarterback 96, my first Super Nintendo football game. Oh, this is just going to be surprising for you guys. This is the original Castlevania Super Nintendo cart. So it's, this is the original, by the way, guys. This is the original cart. And it's, uh, I think it's 1991. So this is the original Super Castlevania 4. I love this Castlevania game. I haven't played it in a while. I know CJ Hawkins did a live, um, live stream of it about a couple years ago, I think, yeah. So this is the original cart of Super Castlevania Form. This is a really fun, one of the easiest Castlevania games in the series, to be honest. Need I say more, so. Good Castlevania game. I love Konami, as you can tell. Konami makes good games sometimes. Good games. So Super Castlevania Four. There you go. That's one of the uncommon games. Here's another comment star. If you guys remember my playthrough I did on my channel, so this is the game I just played. So Spawn, Tom McFarland Spawn, the video game. So there you go. I love this game. I don't know why people hate this game, because of the controls. I don't mind the controls. The, con Whoa. the controls feel a little like um, Promo Rage on Super Nintendo. A little bit, so so here you go. That's the playthrough I did on my channel, the full playthrough. I beat through all the bosses for you guys and all that good stuff. I love this game. I don't know why people shit on it. I love Spawn. So great side scroll and platformer game. It's great. So, love Spawn. And speaking of Primal Rage, but. I think you guys already saw this, but yes, this game is a novelty, so I thought I'd get a fighting game for a Super Nintendo, which I did. It's Primal Rage. It's not the greatest port uh, of all time, but it's a novelty type game I own, so yeah. Controls can get a little wonky sometimes in this game, so I do enjoy this game. 
And I liked some of their music in this one, so... I like the 16-bit style of um, Primal Rage here. I know the arcade version is better. I know Midway Arcade Treasures 2 has that game on there. And then I'll play the actual arcade board as soon as I get that soon. So Primal Rage, yeah, this is a novelty game. So. Still fun. Primal Rage on Super Nintendo. This one is another uncommon game from Konami, so you guys might be, if you guys already saw it, if you're new to my channel. So, here it is. Zombies Ain't My Neighbors. Yes, this is an uncommon game. I love this freaking game. So, I haven't played this game in a while. So, Zombies Ain't My Neighbors. Really awesome Konami game. Awesome gem of the game. I freaking love it. So, Konami makes great games. Once again, all that good stuff. Yeah, Zombies Ain't My Neighbors. Another uncommon gem. And I have love my possession for it. So, yeah, I get back to playing this. So, Zombies Ain't My Neighbors. Great game. Now, I'll move into the PS3 games. I will currently play, so for you guys, if I get my working recorder, so. Uh, never mind that, so. So here it is, Naughty Bear, Gold Edition. You guys saw my whole playthrough of this game, I think a year ago when I played this. I love this game because it's an underrated gem. I love it. This game reminds me of Manhunt and uh, Hatred, so. This is what this game reminds me of. And I freaking love it. And it's in teddy bear stuffed style. So. And this cover reminds me of the Kill Bill the movies. This is what the cover reminds me of. <laughs> I love this game. Yes, this is complete in box. So. I love this game. Such an underrated gem for PS3 and the other version. I love this underrated gem. Ugh. So, Naughty Bear Gold Edition. This is the only Silent Hill game I have, so Silent Hill Homecoming. Fun fact about this, um, I did want to do a playthrough of this, but Konami kept saying it's copyrighted and shit. Damn it, it pissed me off. I just wanted to show you guys a playthrough of this. I like this game. It's better than Downpour, to be honest. So, Silent Hill Homecoming. I think it's a great Silent Hill game in the franchise to me, so really good so most people hate it I don't know why so I've already got all the endings in this game so anyway this is an underappreciated Silent Hill game in the series oh yeah another fun fact about that game so in the PS3 version there's no achievements it sucks here's Doom 3 uh, BFG edition with poster it's actually still in here see it's still in here Another fun fact about this, um, I was going to do a playthrough of this, and I have ran through some video problems with it, so it started to slow down and all that when I record. I don't know why. It was my old cap capture that did that. I don't have no idea, but yeah, Doom 3 BFG Edition. Um, it has the classics 1 and 2 on here. That's the reason I got this, So, which is cool. So. If you actually want to play Classics 1 and 2, it's on here, so if it might be available on the PSN store, I don't know. So Doom 3 BFG Edition, great FPS game. I love the survival horror aspect of this game, and most people don't like it, I don't know why, so yeah, who to blame them. So Doom 3 BFG Edition. I know I've already showed this on my video, so Alice Madness Returns. Yes, I forgot to add this in my um, my favorite horror games list on my video. I forgot to add this. So, Alice Madness Returns. This this does contain the original as well. So, kind of a about the original part of that. Um, I have some problems with it. So, I couldn't move with a character in the game. So, when I was trying to save, um, there are some problems with the original part of the game. So, it's still fun, nonetheless, 
<clears throat> one of my favorite horror games. I do wanted to get it, so. Bought this off Walmart, I don't know, like a few months ago, a year ago? This might be rare in the future, I don't know. So, I love this game. House Matters Returns, and it does contain the original game in it, so. All that good stuff. And the good thing about this, I've already unlocked the um, other costumes in the game, which is cool. You have to still buy them on the PSN store, which I did, which is cool. So Alice Matters Returns, my favorite horror game. Ugh. Call of Duty Black Ops. I love the original Black Ops. I know you guys have been harping on the... This is actually the best game in the series, in my opinion. I love the zombies mode in this. It is actually my favorite horror games list, actually, and my fun facts about that video I made years ago. Yeah, I love the zombies mode in this, so... And it gives you a free five bonus maps for some reason on here. <laughs> yeah, I love this Call of Duty game. Best Call of Duty game in the series. Can't go wrong with it, so... Love it. <sighs> There's other Call of Duty games I wanted to get for the PS2, to be honest. If they're interesting enough. You saw a few of my playthroughs of this. Yes, Mortal Kombat 9. This is a complete edition. So there you go. Yes, I did a few playthroughs of this. The Quan Chi playthrough I did, um, I wasn't satisfied with that video I just did with it. Uh, I don't know. I wasn't satisfied with it. Couldn't pull off the Fatality and stuff. Yeah, Mortal Kombat Complete Edition, so there you go. Saw a few of my video playthroughs about that. And the last one, which is actually on my favorite horror games, Dead Island. I actually like this survival horror game. It's like GTA with zombies, pretty much, in this game. That's set on an island. Pretty cool survival horror game with RPG elements. This is really cool. So, I do recommend this. And it's also on the PSN store, so. Great game in my opinion. Great survival horror. Love this game, Dead Island. This was on my um, video too. Now, all that being said, that's all of my PS3 collection. Now let's move on to the PS PS1 games. Hold on. All right, let's move on to the PS1 games. The games I did bought from Amazon as well, a couple of them. Okay. There's a total of six of them. Alright, let's go through them. So, this is Nightmare Creatures. You guys seen the 100% complete playthrough of this with uh, Nadia, I believe? Yeah. And this is a cool horror game. I do not own the sequel yet. Apparently, CJ Hawkins does own the sequel. Uh, Nightmare Creatures 2. I'm not a fan of Rob Zombie's music, to be honest, in that sequel. Uh, I don't know. This has a kick-ass soundtrack. If you actually can put it on your CD player, this has some kick-ass music in it. No joke. It's really cool. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I did my complete playthrough of this. Unfortunately, there's no back of it. Damn it. I think I bought this from a video game store etc place. I can't remember what, what the game place is called, but anyway. Back cover's missing, which sucks. I do have the manual though. Great horror game in my opinion. So there you go. Put that back here. You guys saw a few playthroughs of this. I love the freaking Attitude Era, WWF Attitude for the PlayStation. This is complete in box. Obviously, I love the freaking Attitude Era. So if you guys don't know me, I'm I am, I am a wrestling fan. So Attitude and WCW are my favorite companies. So I hate it when it's WWE nowadays. So where's the F? Where's the freaking F? You know. Um, I will put the channel. You can actually watch the Sunday Night Heat episodes in the, in my description right now. And all that stuff and I'll put um, CJ Hawkins channel in the description as well but anyway WWF Attitude I freaking love this wrestling game I did three playthroughs which was China Steve Blackman 
and Undertaker. Those are the only three playthroughs I did with them. So I love this wrestling game. WF Attitude on PlayStation, kick ass. So there you go. I love the genre of wrestling. Here's another wrestling game. WCW Mayhem. I like this game. It's a decent wrestling game. I'm starting to play the season mode on this. So, really fun. It still has the sticker on it, the original, that shows the WCW NWO when you shine it. Yeah, you can totally see it. That's cool about the label there. So, WCW Mayhem. Um, really fun wrestling game. I do recommend it. So, it's EA's first attempt at a wrestling game. I think they did a pretty good job, in my opinion. So, and uh, that garbage backstage assault. Ugh. I don't want to talk about that one. That's one of the worst. This one's decent. I like this. So WCW Mayhem. I love the company. So. This is a game I... This was my very first wrestling game that I played in my childhood. You'll be surprised which one it is. So this is Power Moves Pro Wrestling. Yes, this is the game I actually got. So there you go. I wanted to get this because... This is actually from my history video I did. This was my very first wrestling game I played. And I love the hell out of it. And there's not many soundtracks in this CD itself when I put it in the player. Ugh, I could have asked for more. That's why I download the whole soundtrack online, so. Love the soundtrack. I like all the wrestlers in this game, to be honest. To be honest, I love all the wrestlers in this game, so. Activision did a really good job on this game, in my opinion. I'm still going to defend this wrestling game, so I grew up with this. I'm not going to take anything away from this. This is a wrestling game I grew up with. That's what got me into loving wrestling. So, how most of wrestling on the PlayStation. Here's an obscure Midway game, so this is what I'm telling CJ Hawkins is about. So, here it is. Bio Freaks. This is a hidden gem from Midway, so... Really awesome freaking game, to be honest. <laughs> I'm glad I got it. This is complete in box, so here you go. With manual and everything. Yeah. Really fun game. In my opinion. Such a hidden Midway gem. I freaking love it. It's a fighting game mixed with um, shooting elements. I love it for that. I, I saw the mutilations video of this game. And I wanted to play it, so that's the reason I got this. So, freaking Biofreaks. I love this game. Such a hidden gem. Great game. Pick this up while you, while you can, so, on Amazon. Really good. Got this complete in box. I want to get back to playing it. I want to try other characters in the game. So, here's another history one for you guys, too. So, here's um, Tekken 2. Right here. This is one of the Tekken games I played. So I love Tekken 2, but the only harping negative about this game is the difficulty that pisses me off the most. In the original 1 and 2, they're hard as hell. But Tekken 3 is actually a little bit more forgiving on hard difficulty. But for this, hell no. But this is a fun game nonetheless. I love Tekken 2. I grew up with this one. This is what got me into the fighting game genre. Really cool. I like it. Tekken 2. And it has some of the best music as well, too. Arranged and original version. So there you go. Alright, we're coming up to the last stacks, which are PS2 games. So, here you go. This is where I end and wrap things up. It's going to be a fun one. Ugh. There's a total of a lot of them. Holy crap. Let me count them, actually. Let me take a drink. What time is it? <sighs> Shit, it's almost 10. <laughs> so I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 games, so. I'll go through them quickly, if I can. I don't want my videos to be too long, so. Here's Area 51. I know there's a light gun shoot 
uh, arcade shooter of this, but they made this game for the FPS version. And this game's pretty hard for an FPS game, so... I don't know if I'll ever come back to this. I've already completed the game, so... There's no way in hell I can't go through hard. If you unlock something on hard difficulty, um, you unlock the skins for whatever stupid reason on multiplayer. I didn't want to bother doing that, so... Area 51. Awesome FPS alien horror game. Really cool. So, give it a shot. So, I miss Midway. Gotta love Midway. Alright, here's ESPN NFL 2K5. I love the NFL 2K5 series. I love the NFL 2K series. I hate the Madden series. That's why I'm tired of Madden series. So, I love the NFL 2K series. This is actually the best game in the series. For having RPG elements in the franchise mode. Love this game. One of my favorite um, football games of all time. When it first came out. So screw you Madden. ESPN NFL 2K5 got shit right with the, uh, with the football game. Than Madden did. So this is what they got right. This is definitely a good one in the series. NFL 2K5. Definitely pick this up for your PS2 collection. Definitely. Good football game. Here's NFL 2K3. I actually found this in the Goodwill. In really good condition. So I haven't played this yet. I don't know how the franchise is in this game yet. So I don't know how it plays yet. So as a cover of Brian Urlacher. So decent good one in the series too. I love all the NFL 2K games in the series. I don't own a Dreamcast to own the other ones in the series, but I I can only own the PS2 versions. But anyway, NFL 2K3. Pretty good too. Alright. Here's the first Midway Arcade Treasures collection. This is what I'm talking about. This is the PS2 version is better than the Super Nintendo I just mentioned. So really good games. I really do like the um Satan's Hollow is is on here, which is cool. So uh Smash TV's on here too, I like. The original Joust and Joust 2, the unofficial sequel. Every single Midway Arcade Treasures game is on here. I want to get the second one, to be honest. It has Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3 on it, on the sequel. So, pretty good collection of games, in my opinion. So, Midway Arcade Treasures 1 for the PS2. So, pick that up. It's actually quite cheap. I did a few playthroughs of this, um, Lord of the Rings Return of the King. This is a better game than 2 than Two Towers. Trust me, this is a way better game in the series. So, awesome game. I did the plenty of Sar um, Saruman playthroughs of this on my channel. So, really good game. I do like it. Definitely check this one out. It's a third person action game. Beat em up game. I love this game. So, this is a way better game in the series. So, definitely pick that up. Ugh. Now we're getting to the uh, a few Mortal Kombat games. Hold on, there's only four of them. Yes, I did a few Deadly Alliance playthroughs on this, so this is Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. So there you go. I did at least six or seven playthroughs of this game. So really awesome. So Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. I'm f there's one harping negative about this game in the series, 3D game series. Um, the buttons are delayed in this game. Of what I realized from it so still fun nonetheless but but one harping negative about it so the buttons are delayed in this game while you're doing combos anyway fun game nonetheless Ugh. all right shallow monks I did a sub-zero playthrough of this one too so really good beat-em-up game Mortal Kombat's first beat-em-up game really fun this up zero playthrough of this, so really good. So it's always been. There was rumors about a sequel about this game. Instead, they made Mortal Kombat 11. So I don't know if we'll ever see a sequel to this game. So it's a mystery. So anyway, Mortal Kombat Challenge. Here's Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Eh, it's like a reboot of Mortal Kombat Trilogy, but in 3D form. So. I'm not a fan of this one, to be honest. I did a few playthroughs of this, if you guys remember. 
Um, I'm not a big fan of this one in the series, so... The harping negative about this one... The, there are some cool things about this game. But the only harping negative... Um, they have, you don't have their unique fatalities, which sucks. That's what downgrades this game to me, so... It's a decent game, to be honest. Eh, not my favorite one in the series. But they don't have their own unique fat fatality for each character. Just saying. Mortal Kombat Armageddon and PS2. This is actually my favorite game in the series. Mortal Kombat Deception. I did four playthroughs of this. Of Dark Raiden. What other? Yeah, I played Jade and Ermac and Scorpion. Those are the only four characters I played in this game. Yeah, this is definitely my most favorite game in the series. Mortal Kombat Deception. Yes. If I ever do a ranking on this, I don't know. I don't want to do a ranking on it, to be honest. But anyway, Mortal Kombat Deception, my favorite game in the series. I just love 3D fighting games in general, to be honest. So that's my genre of fighting, so more than 2D. So. Love Mortal Kombat Deception. The conquest mode in this game is awesome. All that shit. Even puzzle combat. I love chess combat in this game. So really good. Awesome package. So, best game in the series, in my opinion. I defend it. Ugh. How many games I got left? Okay, I got seven more. And then I'll be done with the video game collection. I did a few playthroughs of X-Men Next Dimension. A lot of people said this is a complex game, so... I had fun with this game. The issues about this game is just the long loading times is a bitch in this game. This is why I love freaking Marvel all together. So Magneto is my favorite character of all time. So is everybody else. I did a whole few playthroughs of this. You, or you guys already know that. So Awesome fighting game in my opinion. I want CJ to get on this. So this is a really good game. You need to pick this up man. It's a really good 3D fighting game of X-Men characters. Really good. I love this game. I don't care if people say it's complex, who gives, a who gives a shit? But anyway, X-Men Next Dimension. This is a better game in the series than the other ones. So, better than the PS1 games in the series. Alright, I'm gonna actually put two of these together. So this is Blood Rain 1 and 2. So, here you go. And this is the cover that um, CJ, ha CJ Hawkins, my best friend, thank you. So this is not complete in box. Sexy as shit. So it's this, this is the whole cover, so. With manual, of course. So here you go. I finally got the manual and cover for, for it. Thank you, CJ Hawkins. I'll remember you. He's a really good friend of mine. That got me this cover and stuff. But I love the horror game series, so here you go. If you guys remember my favorite horror games, so this is one of my favorite series, so. But here's Blood Rain 2, by the way. I haven't played this one yet. I'm still finishing the first one, so. This is my favorite series of all time, Blood Rain 2. So this is complete in box, by the way, CJ. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that, so. This is complete in box, so here you go. I love the whole series, so. Definitely get this series, so. Love the Blood Rain, Blood Rain series. Yeah. Kick ass. So. Thank you, CJ Hawkins, for finding the cover and manual for me. He's a really good friend of mine. I'll put his channel in, this, in the description, don't worry. Four more games left, so let's do it. Alright, drinking the ancient gates. So I was trying to do a playthrough of this until my frickin' recorder just frickin' died. So. Yeah, this is a really good RPG game. This is a, another reminder for CJ Hawkins for him to play. So, really good RPG game. This is a main protagonist you play as. Um, you get to actually ride on a freaking dragon, which is awesome in this game. And yes, this is complete in box, by the way. Yes, with manual. Really good game, in my opinion. I know there's a PC version of this game on Steam right now, so... So there's two different versions you can get this game on. So, PS2 and the PSP version. So, I love this RPG game. 
please give this a try. So, it's a good RPG game. Pick this up. You won't be disappointed. You won't. This is actually my favorite freaking wrestling game of all time. Um, Smackdown, shut your mouth. I love this one. I know a lot of people say um, Here Comes the Pain is the best one in the series. I do believe that, so I was hoping to get that one soon. And it's actually a little bit more rare than this one, to be honest. I will get it soon, but back down, shut your mouth. Actually a good game in the series, in my opinion. Awesome wrestling game. A lot of good modes in this. And especially the season mode is good too. A decent roster of wrestlers, to be honest. Very decent in my opinion. Really good roster in my opinion, and decent at the same time. But really good wrestling game. I do recommend this one for PS2 collectors. Good wrestling game, in my opinion. We're almost done. Last two. Here's Spider-Man the movie, PS2. Um, eh. This is not a good port, to be honest. I know the GameCube port is a little bit better than this one. So, I have it anyway, so, uh, I have something in my freaking mouth for some reason. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, anyway, Spider-Man the movie, um, not a good port, to be honest. Not a good version, but I have fun nonetheless playing it. Ugh. But in some levels in the game, the, the web swing gets so freaking delayed in that game, uh, I don't know why. It's just an aggravated version to play, so very aggravating, but have fun. Just don't get this version. Get the other version that's better, so. Spider-Man the movie. All right, the last game in, in my collection. And then I'll get the hell out of here and all that good stuff. Here's Manhunt, the original. So, I tried playing this on my PS2, but the problem is, what makes it unplayable, that I can't save during progress on this, which fucking sucks. I know I can play it on the PSN store in the version, so that really sucks I can't play it on an actual PS2. I love this game, really good survival horror, and it's a stealth game, really good game. It was controversial when it first came out, and nowadays it's not that bad, so. I love this first game in the series. The second one's pretty good, to be honest. I love the Manhunt series, so 1 and 2 are my favorites. So, next to Blood Rain series. Short series, so. Manhunt, pretty good story in my opinion. Wait, what am I talking about? This doesn't have a good story, to be honest. It's just a snuff-filled story. <laughs> Line starring, um, James Earl Cash, but... Who knows if we'll ever see a Manhunt, Manhunt 3 in game in the future, but it's never gonna happen, which sucks. It's a mystery, so. Rumors are always lies about it, so. This is my favorite game, so. It sucks I can't play it on my actual PS2, so. Oh well. Really good game in my opinion, pick it up. If, it, if you can actually get it to work on the console, nonetheless. And anyway, best sound friends and ladies, I hope you guys enjoyed my video game collection that I have currently. And uh, and I hope you enjoyed. So, on my next video, it's going to be my Stick Studio album ranking after this video. So, and I will see you, best sound friends and ladies, on my next video. See you sure later.